In today's world, welding is a sophisticated trade, and most welders are aware that a professional attitude can only help them be successful in their job. And they know that a real pro always works safely. Let's review the basics about safe welding practices. Keep in mind that common sense should always prevail when deciding what to do in unfamiliar situations. First, make sure you have a safe environment. That means make sure you have clean air to breathe. Make sure there are no explosion hazards. Check for other fire hazards. Look for moving machinery or items that could fall on you. Look out for places where you could trip. Watch for pinch points and spaces where you could be trapped. Enclosed or confined areas are especially hazardous, so give them extra scrutiny. Learn where fire extinguishers and exits are located. Your own personal clothing and safety gear should be checked off from the head down. First, think about items to protect your eyes, ears, and head from light, noise, and hot metal. Make sure you're wearing the proper hard hats, welding helmets, eye shields, safety glasses, hearing protectors, and breathing equipment if needed. Your arms and hands are next. Long sleeve shirt, gloves, and so forth. Then your legs and feet. Proper pants, safety shoes, any other special leggings, safety belts, and harnesses if needed. Familiarize yourself with your equipment. Read the instructions, MSDS, and labels. Lock out and tag out any piece of equipment that needs to be shut down. Let others know where you're working. Let's also review the basic areas of hazards in the actual welding process and how to avoid them. Arc rays can burn your eyes and skin. Protect your eyes with proper filter plates. Protect your skin and others in the work area from the sunburn-like effects of the rays. Protect your ears from high-level industrial noise. Protect your skin and eyes from hot metal and spatter. Electric shock can kill. Make sure your equipment has proper grounding at the service location. Keep all cables and connections tight and in good condition, and make sure everything is of the proper size. Make sure the work is connected to the equipment with the correct lead. Remember that the electrode and work circuits are electrically hot. Don't touch these parts with your bare skin when the welder is on. Insulate yourself properly and don't stand in wet areas. Welding sparks can cause fire or explosion. Remove fire hazards from welding areas or cover them to prevent contact with sparks. Make sure there are no hazardous materials such as flammable contents or vapors left in tanks or containers. Make sure that there is not a concentration of explosive or toxic gases in confined areas. Fumes and gases can be dangerous. Do not breathe fumes and gases. Keep your head out of the plume. Provide proper ventilation and or exhaust at the arc. Do not weld around chemicals that can react with the arc to produce phosgene gas or other hazardous emissions. When welding on painted or plated surfaces or other materials that can produce toxic fumes, take special precautions. Always know what you are welding. Read and understand instructions and MSDS for consumables and follow your employer's safety practices. Remember, shortcuts where safe working practices are concerned never pay off. All professionals in the industry agree, operating safely is always a good idea.